Yo. What's up, Dave? What's up, man? What are you snacking on there? Um, Clancy's pretzel slims. Um, everything bagel. They're very, very good. That's nice, man. I, 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 I got, uh, I got some liquid death action here. No free ads. Oh, yeah, I saw you mentioning that. What is this now? Uh, so it, it's basically just water, but I, I, I'm drinking, drinking the the sparkling water ones to try to kick my energy drink habit. Ah, oh, well, so I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm using it as a like a, you know, try to try to get me to cut my my one day energy drink for the last like ten years. So this is like your nicker patch, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a it's a nick patch. Yeah. <laughs> Funny you say well, that because I have like I take a caffeine pill every single morning as well as pre workout and a uh, like monster <laughs> drink. So just giving you a fair warning that I'm pretty juiced in the morning. Oh man, yeah, I I, I just can't do it anymore, man. I mean, one uh, one energy drink if I have more than one, like I'm I'm up until like like midnight or so. But yeah, you got to take it at a certain time. If you do yeah. it. At, like I can only do it before like 8 a.m. Because if I take it past like 9.30, yes, I'll be up all night. So right. I do it just to get myself rolling. <clears throat> well, uh, let's uh, let's get going here. What's up, everybody? This is episode 44 of the Toy Isle podcast. What's up? What is up, everyone? As you know, this is Dave. This is Kevin. We're here with episode 44. And man, it's exciting to be here. This is our third time. I feel like we're starting to get our sea legs about ourselves. And yeah. Starting to get the vibe, and let me just say for all of our people that watch and comment and get a part of all this, we really enjoy that, and we really appreciate you. We want this to be interactive. We want you to shoot the shit with us. We want you to be interactive. Nothing is off the limits. Um, we obviously will moderate the comments if they get too out of control, but we like to have fun with you. So make sure to go ahead and always let someone know. Bring a friend with you next week. How about that? You know, we can start inviting some people to that. That'd be cool. And as you know, check, make sure to check us out on all of our social platforms, whether that be the Toy Isle TikTok, whether that be our Instagram. And of course, if you just happen to like the actual podcast and you're the type of person that sits in the car or in your room or whatever it may be, and you want an actual audio podcast, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and give us a comment, follow, share the wealth. It's appreciated. We appreciate it. Yep. And hey guys, hey Mighty Mouse, hey Richie. Uh yeah, um <clears throat> no, this is just uh Mighty Mouse is asking, is this uh season two, episode uh three? No, this we're not doing the whole season thing. I think we're just uh we're just tracking up the episodes. Um we've we've talked about maybe you know shifting it up a little bit and taking a break in between seasons, but yeah, this is just episode 44. So, you know, our one year anniversary is already coming up next month, which, which is, is insane. Insane fucking crazy, right? Right. I, I, I feel like a lot of podcasts are probably gonna have like their one year anniversaries because there's <laughs> there's a lot that were like formed during the pandemic, you know. Right. Hey, I got nothing to do. You just want to get around and talk on Zoom about stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Casey man? Um, but, uh, yeah, dudes, well, let's, uh, let's, let's get into, uh, the Jedi council. So, um, you know, we, we were kind of talking offline, right. About super yeah. seven, they're teasing. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm even repping uh, my USS flag, uh, super seven shirt, uh, unintentional, but you know, <laughs> super seven was kind of teasing that they were going to like break the internet next week. Um, you know, in, in uh, the ultimate line and, you know, there is a bunch of speculation on what that could be. You know, you and I were even talking. I, I said, I was like, well, dude, if they want to break the Internet, it'd be G.I. Joe because G.I. Joe is just so buzzing right now. There's obviously a lot of people that are frustrated with Hasbro. You know, Super 7 has that brilliant make to order model. It's, you know, get your pre-order in. Yeah, you're going to wait like a year, but you don't have to worry about, you know, the whole target shenanigans and all that stuff. So. I was really thinking, you know, it could be G.I. Joe and, and, and Super 7, I feel like has that uh, they, they kind of show their hand a little bit. Like once they they get a property, they start with like and we've talked about this, I think um, they start with like barware, right? Like, well, they'll do like pint glasses and shit like that. And then T-shirts and then, you know, the reaction figures and then ultimate line. So um you know, there's a lot of speculation there and, uh, you know, they dropped their first teaser and this is one that we talked about, but, um, Silverhawks. So, you know, nothing official yet, but I mean, this is the, they 
dropped a tease post today that it was a, a silver hawks you know video and you know so it sounds like that's going to be getting the ultimate uh treatment i never i missed the boat on silver hawks did you same and i was going to say if this is internet breaking it did not do it for me um like i said i went ahead and missed the boat on that it doesn't really scratch my itch i know it's kind of if you're in the motu he-man world i know that's kind of thundercats you know it's all that era and such but i think i just gravitated so much towards turtles and ghostbusters around that time i remember you and i were talking offline that possibly a street sharks mm -hmm. could be in it i would have loved to see that but i thought the true groundbreaking moment would have been if it would have been something ridiculous like star wars because i think that there's been those rumors about dual licenses and such and right. they talked to maybe a year or so ago about hasbro losing the license so things could have been up in the air but if that's it um i'm sure there's a lot of people that are excited but i'm not going to be getting my made to order piece in yeah um you know, that might be something I kind of give a rewatch. I don't even know if there's any like streaming services that are offering it. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind kind of, uh, you know, going back and, uh, you know, getting my Silverhawks, uh, Phil. But um, yeah, I, I definitely don't think that it, you know, broke the Internet by any means. I, I think the gargoyle, uh, you know, that NECA did. That, yeah, that was cool. That was yeah, cool. That broke, you know, broke the Internet more than this. You know what I mean? So. Um, but ag again, you know, maybe, uh, you know, like, like we said, we just maybe missed the boat on, on Silverhawks there. So I'm sure there's going to be, yeah, I think, yeah. Mighty Mouse just said it right here. Yeah. I can't wait for Silverhawks one and done season. Oh, okay. So it was just one season. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm always super ex excited to see whatever super seven is doing. Um, uh, you know, I say it all the time. It's, you know, probably my favorite toy company out there. I just love their, their, their mantra and, and, uh, how, how they kind of handle themselves. So very cool company always, uh, you know, down for what they're doing. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's move on. So we got some, some news from the legends team, right? So we're, we're getting a fan, a fan Friday. What are we calling these things now? Just fan, fan first Fridays or yeah, fan, first fan first Thursdays? Streams is what they are. Um, okay. But I feel like they have them all the time. You know, whether it be a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and they just pick the they pick the line and run with it. But yes, we have Marvel coming up this Thursday. Yep. So excited to see what they're going to do there. Uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to be getting some of the Infinity Saga, some more Infinity Saga reveals. Um, you know, do we maybe get uh, some more Disney Plus, you know, figures that we haven't, you know, haven't even been really rumored yet, you know? So, yeah, there's um, got to be a Disney Plus two wave, I suppose, out there. I would I would think so. Yeah. People have been wanting, you know, Agatha from WandaVision. People were hoping for that. They'd like to get fake Petro. That'd be a good one. Right. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of good characters from each 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 uh, property there. So, yeah. Mm. Um, do you think they'll do anything about the HasLab? I, I was gonna say, yeah, I I, I bet we get a, an update on the Sentinel because um, they showed the box last time. Yeah. They've pretty much showed everything, so I don't really know like what else they could update. Maybe um, they show off some of the figures that are are coming along with it. Right. You know, maybe that maybe some of the um, the actual you know uh, multiple heads because I don't think they showed those. They just kind of showed. Uh, you know, CAD designs of those, but yeah, dude, I, I just thinking about it now, that box, man, <laughs> that box is just huge, dude. I mean, it's not only huge, but I mean, I would put it up there as, you know, a true piece of art. Um, yeah. Uh, it, 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 the people that bought multiple ones are certainly going to get their, you know, mileage out of it, certainly. Right. But it's the size, the shape and the look even, you know, of, you know, that type of Imperial shuttle type of box, you know, something that's that iconic and looks that good. And I mean, <laughs> I, I know there's going to be plenty of people that keep that box and I think you should, but I hope you don't have too many of them because that is going to be quite a, uh, that's going to take up quite a bit of room. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would, I'd feel like it'd be a disservice not to, yeah. I mean, it, it would be a disservice not to show off that box, but like, you know, like look at my room. Like if, if I was to have that, there's that box would not be able to fit in my, my room and display in my room. And, and right. I'm sure a lot of people are, are like that. Yeah. It looks like rich, Richie's keeping it in the box. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that thing's it's the size of like a, like a mini refrigerator, dude. It's, it's, it's pretty nice, man. I'm excited to see that. Like I think you're exactly right. That reminds me of the college age little thing that you always get when you go to college, that little size. That is exactly about what it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, or or just like one of my three beer fridges that I have, uh, right. you know. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to call it a beer fridge in college. We weren't allowed to drink. Of that. course not. Yeah, you would never drink in college. Of course no, not. If anybody out there is listening and you're underage, do not pick that up until you're 21. We're, <laughs> or, that's, that's your little word of advice. Or you're in Canada. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 19. Game on. Um. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> as as much as I just like. Uh, you know, padded super seven on the back. I, I, there was a little bit of a fail. I was pretty excited about that universal monster, Sacconi super seven collab. Yeah. And there was only one shoe that I was really wanting to chase. And that was the, the mummy shoe. And, you know, I, I put my clown makeup on and my clown wig and I, I got on the, you know, super seven side at whatever it was, 10 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I'm, I'm like, Oh, they're only a hundred bucks. Like, sweet like i'm used to you know buying you know 220 dollar yeezys or something like that i was like oh i can i can do a hundred dollars like no problem I'm, i might i might get that bride of uh frankenstein shoe too and then no they're maxed out at size 12 i'm a size 13 so i, I didn't so get weird, yeah. though i feel like a majority of people are size 12 and up i, I mean i'm a 13 myself that's really weird that it was just stop at 12 I kind of thought that I was like, oh, well, maybe did they just, uh, you know, sell out a size 13. But and then I looked at every single shoe and um, they were they were all just up to 12 and there was no other sizes like like off the board. So I was like, oh, they just went up to, to 12 then. So that kind of sucked. But um, yeah, man, I mean, pretty. Uh, I, w I wanted the mummy, but, you know, I'm not I'm not like heartbroken about it either. So but as you know, we talked about last week that I think people were sleeping on that creature from the black lagoon. And I thought that one looked really cool. And I, th I think even after you saw a couple different angles, you're like, you know what, this might not be too bad. Yeah. So if they had a size 13, would you have settled for that? Um, yeah, probably just because uh, like I would like some sort of representation in my, you know, expanding sneaker collection slash toy collection. So I, I, I would probably get that because yeah, I mean, I saw, I saw more photos of it. It definitely looked like the, the gills, you know what I mean? And the, the scales definitely had that cool, like texture feel to it. So I, I just felt like it was like a really good representation of, you know, the creature. It's so it's creative yeah. and I think it's cool. Well, done. yeah, very fun. All right. Well, let's, let's get into pickups, man. You, uh, you want me to go first? Um, I why not, Dave? Okay. I will always give you the opportunity to you know, <laughs> lead on these things. So yeah, go for it, man. All right. Well, I'm gonna hog up the the, the screen time here. So um, first on deck, uh, shout out Big Dog Phil at uh, Old Republic's Collectibles. Uh, my order of uh, you know Apollo Creed came in, very minty packaging. So shout out Phil, thank you, sir. And he even he even hooked me up, and he he sent me. Cause he knows I have a, a man yeah. crush on our, our boy Thrawn and uh, yeah, he gave me this. So yeah. Thanks again, Phil, man. Very, uh, very cool. Phil's got a great shop. Like I said, old Republic collectibles, LLC. Um, yeah. So I got those two and then I kind of got lucky. So I slept on this and I know you and I always like shit on people that are like late to the party <laughs> on like getting a figure. Right. And whether it gets yeah, waitlist. Yeah. Yeah, whether yeah, yeah, they wait for it to go, you know, sell out and then and then they want it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I ha I have to explain for myself be before I sound like a hypocrite, all right? Okay, fair. But I did I did finally get what a poser. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a hype beast. Yeah. Right. So, um I did I did finally get TVC Cara Dune. I got to get used to like actually saying what it is for our audio listeners too. But um, yeah, so um, I, I got the TVC Cara Dune. Um, and the reason why I'm just now getting it. So I got this uh, dork, side, uh, dork side. They just popped up like a restock and I snagged it and I, I got it before it sell, sold out. So I was like, I, I will never pay more than retail for, for like a TVC figure. Just not going to do it. But I, I do have the Razor Crest coming. I want to have I want to have the whole squad there, and I just figured this is obviously before the you know the, the Gina Chrono stuff. Um, I was just like, well, I got plenty of time. I'll get that figure later, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll have I'll have the whole squad, and then that stuff happened. I was like, shit, I'm never gonna be able to get this figure. Um, so that that was the reasoning of why I didn't have this figure 
right away because I truly was like, well, my Razor Crest isn't going to be here. I don't really need it yet. I, it just kind of fell on the back burner. So I, I had to kind of justify, uh, <laughs> you know, my, my purchase. You got that at retail then, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, uh, when dude, I was in at ICCC, they're like 120 bucks now. Yeah. I, uh, 12 bucks or 13 bucks. And yeah. he, um, I ordered it on like Wednesday. I think I got it on that Saturday. Nice. Well done. Like, yeah. And then, um, so this, I got lucky and this is one of the only two that I really wanted out of the clone wars wave. Oh, I got me. our boy echo, echo. Yeah. and yeah, Star Wars Black Series Echo. This figure is everything that it's cracked up to be. You know, it's kind of everyone's kind of going Clone Wars crazy right now. You know, with just those that wave Bad Batch is basically Clone Wars seven or eight. You know, um, but yeah, that figure, man. I mean, his that that sculpt on him. It's it's loaded with accessories. The packaging is very cool. I'm going to be ripping that packaging out right after this show. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty stoked on that. And I, that was a, that was an online deal. Oh, really? So you didn't go to store to get this one? Well, I did go to the store, but I did the online pickup, <sighs> which is always a Hail Mary, right? Right. It is because I've gotten fucked on that several times. Yeah. And I was just like, well, fuck it. Like, I'll, I'll just, I'll just do, I was, I was really busy. I think I was driving back from the cabin at the time. I was just like, I'll just do like, you know, if I, and then, you know, if I get the email, then I'll go. And then sure enough, I got the email like an hour after I placed the order and it's like, your shit's ready. And I'm like, still, you know, still sketchy. Like I, I made her open it up. Like, I'm like, well, you know, maybe she put like a, I, I don't know, like uh, yeah, because all the black series have the same UPC, so you could have been getting like a Rose Tico figure in there, you know, that could have been dangerous, extremely. Yeah, dangerous. yeah, I mean, it could have been like a Jar Jar or something like that, right? So I was like, open that up. I was like, holy shit! Like I was, I was genuinely surprised that it was, it was, <laughs> it was Echo. So, um, and then uh, second to last, I got this is a purchase from the wife on um, uh, May the fourth. Well, there so, you. Go. And this is going to go into what our top three is about. But oh, this okay, is cool. yeah. This Ooh, is uh, I love that red. Stanley, the water thermos company. I think they do a bunch of other shit, but um, yeah, dude, it's a, it's a, it's one of those, you know, kind of like thermos, hot, cold thermoses, Darth Vader style. I love like the what would you call this Min minimalistic kind of art? Yeah, I'd go with minimalist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's very cool. It's awesome. Um, so that's my go-to water mug. And like I said, that kind of was the inspiration of our top three for later today. Hey. But the the main the main enchilada on today's uh hauls are this is courtesy of fucking Kevin. Oh, I've seen this before. And this this came all the way from a state I've never even been to before. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so replay toys. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. Kevin did his little walkthrough and uh, you went shopping with me. I went shopping with them. I so I have General Lando Minty. Uh, it came with the coin, which I immediately put in uh, you know, these nifty little cases and uh the card back. I don't I don't really collect these, but you know. <clears throat> It'll it'll go in my kind of miscellaneous folders that I have of like you know literature and stuff like that that I that I keep. But uh, yeah. So that's General Lando off the board. So that's one left. One uh, left. one left to complete my Kenner run, and that is EV ninety nine. So will so I do if it? There's anybody will out there that wants to help your boy out and be on the lookout for that, or you know what, just show complete charity. Go ahead and send that to them. You can DM him for his address. He would gladly take it off your hands and give you a <laughs> shout out. On our social media platforms yeah so I, it's it's nice man like i'm i'm literally one figure away of course there's still like other stuff like i want to get like the what is it the Di dinoga you know the the trash monster that comes yeah, with the, the, the yeah there's like little stuff like that i need to get some upgrades but once i get evd a 99 that is like i have all of the actual true carded um figure so that'll be a big milestone but uh are there yeah, any man. did you do you get them complete right or you just get them as is so because i think i've asked this before but refresh our friends about the ewoks and their hoods yeah so that that's my uh you know if i'm going to give any kind of you know advice 
go ahead. And if you're trying to build your Kenner line, which, you know, a lot of people have been kind of doing during the pandemic and stuff like that, if you're trying to build that line by complete, because finding, you know, a, buying just a loose Death Star gunner or a loose A-wing pilot, and then trying to find like that little black blaster, that thing is going to be more, you're going to, you're going to lose money, you know, cause that, that black blaster a true one you know a non-repo one that'll cost more than the figure so that's my advice by complete i didn't even follow my own advice that's kind of like too too far along my journey there's a couple figures that i do need weapons for but i have all all mine uh have capes the the tunics or whatever we're calling them um the ewok hoods but like I said, I'm, I'm missing um, I'm missing a few uh, weapons and stuff like that. But other than that, we're we're golden, man. That's exciting, and the fact that you were able to get some of the big hitters off the board. Um, and look at this, Casey's got a spare one. Just <laughs> yeah. so I, I'm all for that. But the fact you could get Blue Snaggletooth, Yak Face, a Man of Man, Barada, all yeah. the board, that, that that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, shout out to my best friend, Tom, for hooking me up with that yak face. I mean, that that was kind of what really, sh you know, shifted my my, you know, journey down this this kind of run in a uh, second gear was uh, when he he got me that yak face I was like, well, literally got like the hardest figure off the board. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's nice, man. Well, uh, how about you, dude? I, I know you're itching to go over some stuff. What do you get, man? Yeah, so I told you last week that I had this problem to where I go all in on things and it's a sickness, Dave. It's a sickness and <laughs> I'm down with it, no doubt. But so I went all in on another side of the wave. You know, we're still in the DC world, as I told you that. And so I'm like, okay, let's complete this, but let's finish the story, okay? Remember I had to relist those Star Wars figures that didn't yeah. sell? Yeah, yep tools and everything out there so i ended up relisting the, the, so sorry these are the the sequel trilogy hot toys sequel right trilogy yeah. pieces, yep when all was said and done i ended up losing 68 bucks on all that from what i put into it versus what they ended up selling for i would have almost broke even if i didn't have to relist those two that didn't sell or the guy didn't pay me for and then asked me to refund. Either way. So I lost 68 bucks on the sequel trilogy. So that makes me even more salty about that. So if you're out there and you're looking for sequel trilogy figures, they are readily available. You can get them at some pretty good steals. Um, so that's your free uh, profit for Ka Ka Case Casey will probably take them off your hands. Well, they're gone now. And if I find <laughs> out that that was you that was bidding and canceling, I will come and have a serious problem. But with all that being said, I was selling those so I could fund more pieces part of my collection that I was more interested in. You know? All right. So that I, I try to be responsible by that, but I don't really do that very much. So anyway, let's get into this. As I said, last week we showed some big pickups with some DX series. We were able to get the Mime Joker. We were able to get uh, the Keaton Batman and then the Keaton, no, not the Keaton, but the Nicholson Joker. So we completed yeah. the entire DC Batman 89 wave. All right. So naturally you say, okay, what's next? What else do we do? So let's add two more DX figures to the list of little pieces that we're able to get starting with, I believe it's the DX 12 Batman himself. Oh, All right. Wow. So this is Batman from the Dark Knight Rises. I personally think that this is the best Dark Knight Batman they have now. Yes, they are doing a DX 19 of this. And so I think I was able to get this probably for cheaper than it usually is because they are re-releasing this. So I was able to capitalize on that. And so pretty excited about it. Comes with a really sweet um, kind of display base, kind of the, uh, what would you call this? The, the steps of the city. Okay. Uh, very cool, got snow on it and everything. So that's a very, very cool figure. And I was like, you know what? Hold on, can't get his in there. I'll fix him later. But you can't have, you know, Batman on the steps of City Hall without having naturally Bane to fight him, right? Oh, wow. So we got Bane. And so this one is a really fun one. This one did not, he didn't come with a part of his accessories. So he was missing, like, I guess his undershirt for when you take the coat off. But the coat okay. looks so awesome. I was able to get him for pretty much half what people pay for him. Um, but look how good that looks. He looks very, very good, very intimidating. Um, you're you're so never going to take the jacket off, anyways. So, no, I won't. I won't because this is his iconic 
look, if you yeah. want to call it that, when he shows up at the stadium and you know blows it up, and Heinz Ward runs off into the into the sunset, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was able to you know add a few more Dark Knight Rises figures there, but we can't stop there, right? Because naturally, if you're going to have Batman, you're going to have the fucking Joker, the oh, Ledger man. Joker. And recently, I just did a uh, a video on my YouTube channel of the best head sculpts that they've ever done for Hot yep. Toys. And although this one is beautiful, you know, let's take a look at that for our people that are watching online. You know, this is a beautiful head sculpt. It's got the purr system, so you can do all the different things with the eyes. He comes with this coat. Okay kinds of things but there is a laughing head sculpt that he comes with to where you can uh put that on there if you prefer and that is by far one of the best head sculpts ever it's 100 percent ledger it's muddled you know paint and bruising and that's one of the things i really love about some of these six scale figures like his hands like have bruising on it i don't know if you can see that or not um yeah. it's just immaculate paint work so um, but yeah, so I was able to grab the Dark Knight, uh, the Nolan verse, essentially. So they're complete now. And I'm happy about that because as you know, I had two face and I had commissioner Gordon. Um, so now we have the rest of them. So congratulations, Kevin, you did the impossible and completed the, uh, the Dark Knight line. There you go, man. That's a, you got, you did a, a DC hat trick, bro. I did. And so, uh, I, I was very excited about that. So now there's uh, there's other things on the list. I got some things in route that um, you and I have maybe talked about a little bit, but I'll just save it for next week. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, dude, that Heath Ledger man. I mean that yeah. that that Joker is amazing. I you know I saw your video and yeah, dude, it it looks unreal, man. Yeah, and I, I, I the hype got to me, and I was like, you know, I don't know if I can wait till Tuesday to show this. I, I have to go for it. I got to go for it. And yeah. I mean, it, it's just wild. It's wild. So. Yeah, well, man. Congrats, dude. Those, those are big gets, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, I sorry. You get you, you gonna completely reshuffle. You're gonna have to get like two detoffs now, just for all DC, probably, right? Yeah, it, it's crammed because I got them all right behind me. If you're watching online, right there. So that's all DC. And I was looking at the way I have like some of my things, and I don't know if you've seen people that take the detoffs and like raise and lower different shelves. Yeah. Seen that. I think I might do that on a couple of mine that I have some bigger figures like Ultron and Hulkbuster and things. Right. I might be able to lower it down and be able to get something in there to maybe get an extra shelf or two. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm really strapped here right now. <laughs> yeah, you're on your max uh, max space for There's sure. Good to have. I, I can get creative and we'll figure out yeah. some new fun ways to do it. All right, man. Well, good shit. Well, let's uh, let's move on over to a uh, Star Wars. So. Yeah, Black Series, like we kind of alluded to on the Jedi or whatever. Uh, yeah, the pickup uh, segment, you yeah. know, everything is, you know, all about that Clone Wars wave right now. And I'll basically say this. So if you want them and, you know, you'll get them. So if you really want them, you'll get them. Unless you live in like some small farm town that, you know, you're nowhere near Target. Like obviously that excludes you. But if you're in like a major city and you really want these, you can you can get them. Yeah, you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to hit up a bunch of targets, multiple, you know, you know, every day or whatever. But you will get these. They seem to really be restocking a lot. They are definitely nowhere near as difficult to obtain as you and i you know kind of thought they would be i mean that cobra island wave is is way more difficult in my opinion than this clone wars wave um I, my is whole feed more feasible to get than the walmart clone wars wave as well yeah i mean i i for the past like week i've just seen my feed of just people finding them so uh, you know, my advice, you know, if you haven't got them yet, you know, they're, they're, they're getting them out to store. So just, just hang tight. Don't cave in and buy off a, you know, eBay or scalp or anything like that. Just, just, just try to hang, hang tight and, you know, stay diligent. Um, target is, all, is even putting them online now. So there's links for them on their site where they, they weren't there before. Uh, I just was able to get echo, you know, just. I picked up in store. Um, I've even seen, uh, I think it was the Obi one, uh, had a, a ship to home option. So Ooh. just, just kind of keep up with that. Um, but that's, that's really it for black series. Uh, you know, there's, 
there's nothing really, you know, kind of in, we didn't get much of that, a uh, 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 pipeline, <laughs> you know, on that last fan event. So, you know, and I'm okay with that, you know, um, let's just, uh, take a nice little break from black series and, you know, everyone can enjoy, you know, finding these, these clone war figures, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's fine if there's not like a, a ton of black series news, but yeah, that that's it on that front. Same thing with TVC, right? I mean, we got, yeah, it's, it's a shame that we don't have anything to say about TVC. And I know all of our TVC fr- fans out there are probably losing their mind because they already feel like, you know, they're, they're the redheaded stepchild anyway. And they always just kind of get, you know, the leftover scraps, but uh, yeah, I guess until we get some news, You'll be the first to know. So I do want to move on quickly to your favorite trooper was officially revealed, Dave, and that being the artillery trooper. It was kind of teased, you know, around May the 4th, but it is available for pre-order. Look at that. But here's the thing I think that is important to look at. Look at that price tag. It's now 220 A lot of the troopers were going around like 235 240 Perhaps they're reading the market, gauging it a little bit. Granted, I know that, you know, you don't get a lot of stuff with this, but... Could this be the new price point for some of these figures that some people were complaining were a bit overpriced? Potentially. That could be a really great thing for some people. But this one, as you've said, you're out because you hate mustard, which is cool. Yeah. That's fine. But I am also out because I've told you I'm not 100% sold because of my uh, incinerator trooper. This one just still doesn't do it for me. I feel like this is going to be kind of like the Tuscan. I'm not getting the Tuscan either. They just aren't doing it for me. I may reevaluate that when I get to replay toys and maybe see it in person. Right. But I do like this pose. Yeah. Like I, I think this is a cool pose. Yeah, I guess it's cool. It's got the little canisters in the back, which I didn't notice until that <clears throat> uh, picture that you put up there. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. the The range of motion is good. Perhaps they've you know fixed that a little bit, being able to get it down into a kneeling position. But I don't know. I just feel that it does not going to look real great on my shelf. One of the things I like about my troopers on my shelf is that they look weathered. They look gritty. And this is almost too clean. That's my issue that I had with my incinerator trooper is it was almost just too clean. Unless you're on the Death Star, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So that's my, my take on that. But I actually have some breaking news for you. Breaking news. I just got an email, and you may have heard the notification go off and people sorry about that if it bothered you but it went because i got the email that said i'll read it to you it says sideshow captain rex will be delayed based on our latest production ah. we expect it to arrive to our warehouse in september to october now that's weird because people were saying that it was imminent and that it was coming, you know, no later than july you know we're getting ready to get into june so right. i think it goes to show that People don't really know everything that they claim to know with all these insider sources and such. So, um, unfortunately, that's getting pushed back. Now, here's some here's some uh, speculation. Here is some you know conspiracy theories. As you know, Clone Wars is the biggest thing in the world right now. Bad Batch is blowing up. Is it possible they delayed it to simply make more of them? Yeah, I mean. That's a that's a that's a very you know tinfoil hat you know comment there, and I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, and I mean, if it's going to guarantee them more money up front, because it's you know, not it's not know. waitlisted, right? You can still it's like not. get your pre order. Yeah, so maybe but I think they it, were right? judging by maybe Echo pre orders how quick Cody went out because you know Cody is gone, you can't get him anymore, and they're saying okay, we do not have the supply run that we need, and we can't sell something that doesn't exist so let's make some more yeah I'm especially apologize. maybe hearing someone's got a motorized car outside playing in the driveway so sorry if that's becoming annoying i'm not gonna beat them up myself oh man easy wow. all right well yeah i mean that that is that is a very good point um and yeah i mean that that really makes sense you know if they're just like hey well let's just push this out a little bit because so. I can't think that it would be, oh, wow, we're really struggling on, you know, retooling this because it's the same head sculpt. Just different <clears throat> hair. Yeah, it's the exactly. Same color, just different color. You know, they've already done it with Cody. So um, it's almost it's, like a repack, you know, or a repaint to an extent. Interesting right? to say the least. Yeah. OK, well, let's uh, let's that's it for six, uh, six scale. Yeah. Oh, yes. And man, okay. let's talk about some of this stuff from this grab bag because yeah. XM Studios has some heat, heat. You know that we've 
always been hyping, you know, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, Knights of the Old Republic. There's just so much content, you know, from that world coming out. It makes you wonder, like you said, are they about to throw on this thing to where yeah. Revan's going to show up eventually? But XM Studios, man, th- these are some unbelievable pieces. Revan yeah, and Malak, the only thing is it's $1,300. <laughs> you know, that that's a little steep, but look how incredible it is. And there's only 800 of them a piece. And it's made to order, so they're cutting it off at seven ninety nine. So yeah. anyone that wants one essentially can have them. I think that price point's probably going to steer some people away. Right. I know that if you want both of them, it'd be twenty six hundred. But if you do want them and you buy them both, it's twenty two hundred. So we're saving you a little bit of money there. Yeah, and I didn't know there were like companion pieces either. I mean, we broke this kind of. Well, we didn't break the news, but like we talked about this. I, I feel like six weeks ago or even like two months ago where someone kind of leaked a, a picture of just the CAD kind of uh, computer drawings of both this one and uh, the Malik one. And then XM, like the official XM, you know, Instagram site was like, please take this down. And the guy was like, no, <laughs> then it just, it just like, did, you know, did the you know it did the internet thing and you know all, all the you know crimson dawn and kyla clicker started posting them yeah. but this is the you know the first ones that we're seeing of the actual you know product and yeah dude this thing looks insane and um xm studios is like the the, the benchmark one of the benchmarks of statues so i'm not surprised at all at this price point um you know, this size, if this was like a sideshow premium format, yeah, that would be in like the $700 range, $800 range. But it's a big jump, you know, when you go from sideshow premium formats to XM or, yep. um, yeah, what's not, you know, like, yeah, like Prime One or something like that. Yeah, so, we'll talk about that yeah. But so, yeah, I mean, one of the things I love about this is that if you're not a big fan of the dual blades, you can have you can swap the arm out, you know, for a force arm, which I think is really cool too. So it right. looks Look. incredible. Um, I don't think I'm gonna jump on that because I don't have the room and twenty six hundred bucks is quite a quite a quite an ask right now. So yeah, and I know you're a, I mean you're like a legends guy too. So I, I figured this would kind of pull yeah. to you more than it would to me, but um I mean, I definitely I, think I, the Revan is the standout, though. I mean, most people aren't as you know fluent with who Malik is and such, but right. I mean, they look incredible, man. Look at that. Yeah, I I wish they had some pictures of the, what they looked like, uh, like together. Like, uh, you know, it's they're, hard to tell. Are they are are they meant to be like bookends, or are they, they are, like? You click out of that and go to the top. It has them both. Because um, go to uh, the homepage right there. And then it'll show them together. Yeah, we okay. want our people to see this. Oh, geez, so what do we got? Very, very oh, top. Yeah, yeah. all right. Sick. Yeah, so, yeah you okay. can see if you want to get them both. Yeah, it's pretty nice, man. Yeah, that would look good, you know, on top of uh, two DTOFs, you know. Yeah. Oh, or, oh, I yeah. See, I'm, I'm showing. I'm showing the wrong screen. Trying. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So that's a. Uh, yeah, hefty price tag. <laughs> but yeah, but that, it, like you said, it is the pinnacle of statues. So, I mean, you're getting right. what you get out of it. And so it's not like you're going to lose money on it by any means. Yep. Okay. So, uh, next uh, on the bat or next up uh, in the grab bag, Ooh, let me let me get it on the board here. Okay. And this is a little uh, late. I, I wanted to talk about it last week, but um, we just, uh, kind of just we're running out of time so this actually dropped uh yesterday and these are uh disney exclusive cast member exclusive star war pins and they have one for every single you know um episode uh you know i love how r2 is in every single one of them i mean c3po technically is too because oh you know what no he's on in the fan they don't have him in the phantom menace one but um yeah, I think it's just a fun thing. Um, I wish I knew someone that worked at Disneyland, or, you know, so I was able to secure one of these. But uh, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, limited edition, only two hundred and fifty of these. I mean, geez, yeah, good luck. These probably won't even show up on eBay. They probably have such a, like a strict policy of like reselling, you know, with their cast members. 
Yeah, and I guarantee you they'll be able to track down who's the one that got it and sold it. So yeah, it's, kind of, it's yeah, like a catch twenty two. You really want to risk your career on being a hook boy up. So who knows? Yep. Black market under the table, I'm sure. Or they'll take it to Pawn Stars or something like that. Where'd you get oh this? <laughs> Let me call stars. an expert. I got a buddy. Give me five bucks for it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I really wanted... The only one I really wanted was the the episode, uh, you know, the Empire Strikes Back one. But uh, yeah, dude, they all look pretty good. All right. Well, uh, at last in the grab bag. Let me get this on the board. Uh, this is very cool. This is something that v reminds me of um, Gabriel Junk Art. Um, he does like he does like uh, recycle. He'll take like Louis Vuitton bags and like he'll make like a Black Panther mask out of it, or like uh, you know a Boba Fett helmet or something. And this this very much has those kind of vibes to it. But uh, yeah, this is uh, by Unruly Industries, and it's a Boba Fett bust. And, uh, you know, it's his whole, you know, kind of upper torso and his helmet. And it's done in this, uh, you know, almost like Japanese, uh, very, uh, yeah, samurai style uh, look. I mean, it even kind of has like some like Aztec uh, vibes to it, right? I don't know. Am I just yeah, crazy? It definitely does. Uh, kind of a South like America. Here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, very cool though. I just love seeing like creative stuff like this with with Star Wars. It's it's, it's awesome, man. Do we know how big that is? Yeah, um, it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, eight inches height, uh, seven point seven width, four point seven in depth. Um, you know, so I don't think it's got like an actual scale. Uh, but I would say this is probably like a, a third scale, maybe a quarter scale, probably, probably more in long, uh, along the lines of a quarter scale. I dig it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice, man. Something, di something different to have in the, in the collection, you know, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for the grab bag, man. So let's, uh, shift over to. Oh, we're already getting into the getting into the top three. Let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be a fun one. <clears throat> and like I said, this is kind of uh, the inspiration on this uh, top three was from this beautiful Stanley, uh, uh, you know, exclusive uh, licensed Star Wars product. And you know, I started thinking like, well, what kind of stuff would I like to see? You know, Kevin and I would like to see. Not just Star Wars, but any kind of nerd property, Marvel, Star Wars, Universal Monsters, whatever, right? And what we would like to see officially licensed on something else, you know, like, uh, you know, Yeti coolers or I Igloo coolers. Sorry if I'm stealing in your ideas here, but, uh, you know, like a pair of Oakleys, like Star Wars licensed Oakley. So j we just kind of were going to have fun with that. We have to cross so that, that one off because that was <laughs> one of mine. So <laughs> no way. The Star Wars Oakleys, yes. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll write it down. All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll give you some time. I'll, I'll kick it off then. So, all right. So, so my my number third entry. Sorry, man. I, I was I was trying I was trying to steer away I'll, from I'll my on the way I want it to look or such. So no problem. Yeah. No problem. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Dave just fucking it up. Um, <laughs> and let me let me let me get Easy a banner part. here. So, and that being said, you guys, you know, uh, everyone that's watching, you know, let us know what your kind of top threes would be, you know, that you would like to see, you know, a, an official licensed crossover. So, um, all right. So my number, uh, my number three, I love track suits. So I, I used to box and, uh, you know, one of my really good friends, you know, he's uh, like a legit professional, you know, fought in the Olympics and everything. And him and I, we get so jacked up for track suits. I have probably like 20 pairs of track suits. I have like track suit season. As soon as October comes around, I'm wearing track suits. So, yeah. and my, my, my go-to track suits are Adidas. I mean, you, you, you that, that's like, you know, the, the benchmark, you know, in, in my opinion of, track suits adidas makes sick track suits well i would love if they did a crossover with universal monsters okay here we go and very subtle 
but just replacing the little uh, Adidas, uh, you know, logo and just having a face of one of the monsters and then the colors to match on the stripes. Yeah. So like, you know, your colorways, like, so say for Dracula, right? It could be an all black, the stripes would be all red, and then you would just have the little Dracula logo right there, and then Adidas You're underneath okay. it. I dig it. So super, super subtle, but enough for, you know, a guy like me to just get really like, you know, excited about it. So that's, that's my number three Adidas doing a collaboration with universal monsters and doing track suits. Well, it's, you came awfully close to another one of mine. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm really happy for that, but let's start off with number three, which genuinely was the star Wars Oakley cross crossover. Right. So, I'll never forget when I love Oakley's. I love their clothes. I love their glasses, all that stuff. So I remember going to the Oakley store and they had these Ferrari versions of their glasses. If you remember those, do you ever remember seeing these? The Ferrari glasses? Yeah, they were like, you know, a, a typical Oakley glass was like 180 yeah. or something like that. These were like okay. three because they were, they were made to look like a Ferrari and, you know, the special leather rubber. Anyway, and I was like, wow, that's really cool. Designer series versions of. Of, of Oakley's. And so I was like, okay, with that being said, I would love a simple run of maybe three to five Star Wars themed Oakley's to where they were, depending on what type of version that you want, whether you want it to be sport, whether you want it to be kind of like Wayfair or anything like that. But okay. the frame, essentially, we'll, we'll just say Boba Fett, for example, the frames would be the military green, like he would be, the shade part would be red, you know, like that. And then like on the sides of the, uh, what's that called? Like the legs? The legs, yeah. On the legs, it would have like the little yellow markings, you know? Uh, oh, like his uh, his kill stripes? Yeah. yeah. So I thought, I thought that'd be cool. Same thing kind of with the stormtroopers. You could have white ones with black and then obviously some type of identifying marks on the legs of, of the eye. Uh, of the eyewear. So Oakley branded Star Wars partnership, a run of three to five. I would think Boba Fett. I would think R2, Stormtrooper, maybe a 3PO and obviously a, Va a Vader. So an all black yeah. one. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Stor Stormtrooper. I mean, that's just such an easy colorway that that looks good on anything and everything. I mean, we talked about it with like, uh, I think it was heroes and villains, right? With their, their backpack line. Um, I think Herschel has done stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, Adidas has done stuff with uh, with Star Wars and the Stormtrooper colorways. You know, it's just white and black. You know, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I I definitely go after some Boba Fett Oakleys for sure. Yeah, those be would be sick. sick. They look good with your camo hat currently. Yeah, go Raptors. All right. Um. So so my number two, and this is something so. I'm going after I wanna I wanna cross over exclusive partnership with my vehicle of choice, a Ford F one fifty. Okay. I, I, I want and, and they've they've dabbled in vehicles. They did that Nissan Rogue uh special edition. I mean, there yeah, was really nothing. That. Yeah, I th Tim Tim Connor had it, and uh, he he unfortunately got in a car accident like a long time ago, and it totaled, which had to have sucked. But um, you know, there I haven't I haven't seen that one like in person, but there wasn't like a whole lot of things. Right, that, I've seen an Iron like, Man one they did for Hyundai as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know about that, but but uh, yeah, this this rogue this Nissan Rogue one there there wasn't that much that was like jumped out that it was like star wars like if you just like walked by it you, you wouldn't even know that it was a star wars one but i would want a ford f-150 a darth vader edition and make this almost like a raptor like okay. so yeah it's it's murdered out so everything is black and then on the wheels you got some red um pinstriping around the the um the actual wheels the lights are are blacked out and they got little um red tinting on you know smoke tinting uh on the back of the headsets or the, the headrests you got the galactic imperial logo stitched in you know just fine stitching all yes. over the you know this the seating um yeah that would that would be sick man i i would I would try as hard as I could uh, get that in, you know, trade, trade my truck in. I try to get a new truck like every like 
you know, eight years. So I'm already, I'm already getting to that point, but, uh, yeah, I would, I would love a Ford F-150, you know, exclusive, fully licensed star Wars truck. I think that'd be fucking badass. And all I know is that when car dealers get into these licensing, they do go all out because as I've said, yeah. I saw that Hyundai, I forget what it is, but it was like an SUV that they did with Iron Man. So it was all like matte silver with red trim and it looked like an Iron Man um, piece, like a little hot rod thing. It was sick. Absolutely sick. That that was that was Hyundai. Yeah, Hyundai Iron Man. What uh the Kona? Maybe, yeah. It's like silver and red. Are you looking it up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me pull it up right here. Okay, so uh, let's get this up on the board. So I'm, I'm just curious about that. Yeah, I got All to right, sit. Yeah. yeah, that's it, baby. Look at that. Isn't that sick? Yeah, it's that's cool, man. I, I like the. Yeah, let's let's see the photos here. Looks like there is like a picture on the on the hood. Yeah, I mean, that's a and nice really colorway cool. too. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, there it is. There's your license, Marvel. Boom. Iron Man on the bumper. Yeah, that's sick, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I would want all that stuff. Yeah. That's very nice, man. Yeah, it looks good, dude. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Stark on the seats. Yeah, that's badass, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah that is filthy. The gauges. Yep. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I wonder if they have, like, you know, like uh, uh, the navigation oh, is man. Jarvis, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ready to go, sir. Well, well, good shit, man. Okay, so what's uh what's your uh what's your number two then? All right, so number two, this is a big swing. Okay, I've seen these, especially some minor league hockey. You know, you see people where they get the jerseys and you know, you know, cantina night, and they dress in like crazy things, like for minor league hockey, yeah. minor league baseball. Well, I want to go a step further. Okay, we want to go ahead and have the NFL license one week. All right, maybe in uh in October, you know, for Halloween or something like that. So the NFL will license to where all the teams, and you've even seen some of these before, I'm sure, to where each team becomes a different piece. You know, it'd be like the the Cincinnati Imperials, and it'd be like the Imperial logo on okay. it. Okay, yeah. So you get your own helmet, your own jersey for that week, and, you know, the Seattle Jedis and things like that. So one week would be an officially licensed Star Wars week to where everyone gets their own little jersey, um, cause I've seen them out there, like people have done some customization work of if they were to take over the league, um, and kind of what they look like, you know, the, the Tacoma Tauntauns and things like that. So it could be really, really fun. The NFL is king naturally in the world. And so I can't imagine, you know, some of the, li the rights and licensing that they'd have to figure out for that. But right. man, if that would sell like hotcakes to have people just all in of their favorite mm -hmm. athletes going to war that week against each other in star Wars gear. Yeah, dude, that would be sick. I, I feel like this kind of pops up like every time, you know, in August when football season's, uh, you know, about to drop, there's someone that made, you know, graphics of, you know, uh, NFL teams, but as, you know, uh, right, you know, right. with star Wars, right. Like there was like the, you know, the Arizona Tauntauns or whatever. Right. And, uh, yeah, that would be sick, dude. Yeah, and you're right. Like NFL, man. Who? I mean, that'd be that'd be tough to you know figure out because there'd be so many people wanting to get their hands out because they'd be they would know that would drive a lot of revenue. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think about that like being like a, like a like a week thing. You know, it could could be like Star Wars week, right? Where where they do that. And that yeah, that and was actually. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, um, that that was actually going to be my. I mean, before I get to my number one, that was going to be my honorable. But I was going to do it with NHL. Like I, I know, you know, in the WHL and um, you know, the minor leagues, they have a lot of fun in the, you know, in the kind of the beer leagues, if you will, on Star Wars nights. And dude, they do some sick jerseys. But I mean, I would, I'd love to get, you know, an actually, you know, NHL jersey of you know my team which th this is the reason why it's an honorable mention and not my number one is because my my oilers got absolutely fucking smoked just just broom was out from the get-go and they got their asses swept but yeah i would i would still uh like to get like an oilers jersey 
you know, like Connor McDavid. I mean, he's probably going to be on the fucking Rangers next year after he gets a trade or something. But like, you know, ha- having, you know, the like logos or whatever on the shoulders and then it's like a Connor McDavid jersey. You know, I think that would be sick. What were you yeah, going to say, though? Sorry. I was going to say, if you want to take it up a notch, even if they were to whenever the next Star Wars movie comes out to where they have it that week to where on Monday night football, they d- debut the trailer, you know, why those people are playing like hype it up for the biggest thing ever. I mean, it'd be massive. Absolutely massive. Dude, that's yeah, that's a huge point. Yeah, they could totally piggyback that off of, you know, a trailer. I mean, because like whenever there's a Star Wars movie, they always like premiere it during like a football game. Yeah, so ABC, we'll just, just go all in. Yep, there you go. Yeah, that's uh, I love that, man. That's probably like the the, the best one out of like all of our ideas here. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm up. Yeah, number one. All right, so like I said, my honorable mention was uh, the NHL. Um, and this is my number one. So I'm going to I'm gonna hop in your time machine here. Let's go back to 1999. You probably remember running oh, these bad boys yes. down. I was okay. So, so this was, you know, gearing up for the Phantom Menace, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Pepsi One did that can that series. Gold Yoda. Yoda. Did you ever, did you ever see a Gold Yoda? I never did. And I went, I, I went through one. so many goddamn I cases. One off somebody. I paid like 20 bucks for it. Okay. What I, I can't remember. Was it, did it like, you could like get something with it. Wasn't it like, you know, kind of like a, a, a like golden it, ticket. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, what it was. You, you just got 20 bucks. Yeah. You take it to the store, turn it in, you get 20 bucks, but no one ever did that. Everyone wanted the gold Yoda can. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, but yeah, so my, mark. my, my crossover would be, something like this i tried to find the actual there is there's an actual like i don't know who got it or how they got it but there is like uh you know um like a case like it was like a box set and you opened it up and it had all of them in there and i think it was some sort of like promotional tool obviously but i would like something like this the same exact idea but with your your boy's number one alcoholic beverage natter days so let's get it let's get let's get a natural ice exclusive star wars licensed run and do all, all you know whatever whatever property we wanted or whatever film or show whatever but just star wars holy smokes man i i would have an excuse to just like just just kill 30 racks like i gotta i gotta find that gold yoda and just on my like second 30 rack <laughs> no i mean that, it's, it's brilliant and you know kind of to piggyback off that like i it especially coming up around the summer months and such it would be foolish yeah. if they didn't you know whether it be bone v or truly's or somebody jumping on top of that you know granted i love my natter days too you know you really got me on to that but yeah. you gotta think that something like this would be in the pipeline again don't you think i mean it's 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 so golden. Well, and that was like, you and I aren't alone. I mean, this was such an iconic thing. Like, uh, you know, when I when I think of gearing up for that movie and just all the promotional marketing and and uh, the toys that were coming out, like, yeah, I remember that like iconic Phantom Menace red packaging stuff like that. But and then I remember this. I re- I remember these like the most. And then like the fucking Taco Bell and Pizza Hut and KFC toys. But, you know, these these cans were yep. really like iconic. So I, I, I could someone needs to make a run, even if they just do Pepsi again. Like, you know, I don't know, but that's my number one. All right. So let's uh, let's bring it home. What's uh, what's your number one, buddy? And it, it, it may be an out of order because I feel like after we talked about it, you know, that idea as well as excuse me, as well as the NFL idea, it's really hard to kind of go back from those because I think those are incredible. But yep. I thought you were going to steal it when you were talking about, you know, track suits and things like that. But as we have, you know, The Rock and all of his, you know, stuff with Under Armour and things like that, I would love some officially licensed, whether, let it, whether it be Marvel, whether it be Star Wars, I would love some of that licensed workout gear with, let's yeah. talk about with with Stark Tech or whatever, because he wears that little kind of uh, Under Under Armour looking thing with his nano suit. So I would love some Marvel branded workout gear, um, you know, with 
kind of the the red that fades to gold. I know gradients are kind of out right now, but I used to love the type of the shirts and things like that that would do the gradients. So I feel like yeah. if you go back to that, you can get like a blue that gradients to white, you know, and put a star on it for Captain America, give a black that gradients to purple and put a Black Panther logo on it. You know, just something okay. like that. Is, as someone who, granted, I broke my back, so I haven't been in the gym in a couple of days, but someone who likes to be in the gym, that would be something I would love to have is to have an entire run of Marvel licensed different type of workout shirts. Yeah. And I mean, you, you got uh, a few companies that could easily do that too. You know, Under Armour just totally stands out to me. Hell, you could even do like, <clears throat> I could even see like Lululemon. I mean, like oh, yeah. they, they have a, their men's line is, is awesome. Like I have three pairs of their shorts. They're a little pricey, but holy smokes, they're comfortable. Yeah, so I, I would be all in on that. And uh, I wanted because Trainwreck said thank you. I was thinking the same thing. Um, very funny about the McDavid Sharks jersey, by the way. But I did want to answer his question. Or are we saving that towards the end? Do we want to do the questions at the end? Uh, no, you can answer that one. I, th I think he's just being a dickhead. But yeah, go for it. Oh, basically, for those people that are wondering about the Revan and Malik, Malik is not Vader unmasked. Malik is the Sith Lord that lured Revan from the Jedi to the dark side, and then Revan ended up, you know, betraying not betraying him, but ultimately with Bastilla and all them defeating him at Starforge, and that's the whole uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So that's that. We're actually gonna have. Uh... We're, we're gonna we're gonna bring uh, some of the sneaker peak guys on our show and we're gonna we're gonna talk about kind of collecting in general you know from all walks right like our stuff sneakers but just you know the kind of collecting you know philosophy if you will we're gonna have them and then um you can ask him uh to to repeat that because we're gonna we're gonna quiz him on that i doubt it all right I doubt it. J, J five o'clock. What's up, J Room man? Thanks for coming in, dude. Um, all right, well let's uh, let's get into tipping the skills, man. What do we what do we got for entries this week? So we have a lot of really good stuff, and one of the pieces, and I'm not afraid to even say it because I know it's a little bit PC to say it, but we have a slave Leia set. Okay, people will say, "Oh, let's not talk about that. It's demeaning," but. This is who we grew up with. You know, this is Slave Leia because she was Jabba's slave and she overcame that and was a badass and killed Jabba the Hutt. All that to say is that they give you the clothes and the head sculpt. All you have to do is just get the uh, Fison body if that's what you kind of want. But look how good that thing looks. It makes me almost want to go and get that giant Jabba from Replay Toys because how good would this look sitting next to it? Yeah, but it uh, I'm not a customizer, but I feel like there's very little that needs to be done with this one. Just put on a few different pieces, pop that head sculpt on. And I think it looks pretty damn good, man. It looks great. I mean, I, f I feel like her face is a, a little off right there, but uh, the other pictures. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely her. I mean, looks great, man. Yeah. I mean the, in that seamless body, it looks really good. So yep. uh, as I've said, if I can find this stateside and, available uh i will definitely cop this and then i'll definitely look into getting that job of the hut if so right so All that's right. that's leia let's talk about you said that leia doesn't look that great let's talk about a likeness that is incredible if you're a lord of the rings fan you're definitely going to like this one asmus toys has the most uncanny likeness to live tyler with the new r oh my god yeah human looks like him. And, um, you would think that you have to pretty much ask Steven Tyler if you can talk to this person because that looks just like Liv Tyler. And I've seen the old Arwen from back in the day, and this is like night and day better than anything. You got the rooted hair that looks actually well done, and the likeness is incredible. So hats off to Asmus Toys. They've been doing incredible work recently. Absolutely incredible. I can't get over that, man. Yeah, that is I'd be hard pressed to come up with a figure that I think as far as a hot toy that has a better, you know, likeness than, than this. I mean, that is her dude. That's crazy. Yeah. It, it's, it's almost eerie how crazy it is. But if you're, if you're an Asmus toys fan, Lord of the Rings line, this is a piece that you absolutely have to have. Thankfully I'm not in the Lord of the Rings line because that would be um, an extremely even darker hole for me. And speaking of dark, can we go ahead and show this $1,800 Prime Studios dark side? 
If you thought the Malik and Revan was incredible, this thing is next level. This thing's like four feet tall. Look at this thing. This is Dark Side from Zack Sider's Justice League. He comes with interchangeable arms, multiple heads, LED lights inside those eyes. Look at that thing. That thing is 40 inches tall, so it's well over three feet. Where do you put something like this? If you, I mean, granted, if you're dropping $1,800 on a statue, you probably have a nice, you know, setup anyway. Right. But, I mean, it's incredible. Look at this thing. Yeah, you would definitely, this This ain't going in no detoff. This is uh, oh, one of those, what, what's the, the kind of high, high, uh, Maju case, right? Maju case are expensive cases yeah. that are kind of custom made for whatever it is you want, but I just never, I, I think they're extremely overpriced for that. But this is not something you'd want to put in a case. You'd want this pop pro properly lit and on display. This is an absolute centerpiece. And there is yeah. a, there's a Superman that they've coming out with it as well. But this, this takes the cake. I mean, the thing is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this this would go on the the hood of my uh, F one fifty Darth Vader truck. Just boom. Hell, you could put it in there. there. It I, don't is, know yeah. there man. Um, I don't know how your Arizona laws are, but you can go ahead and put that in the passenger seat and drive in that HOV lane. Um, you guys have there HOV you. lanes? Oh yeah. Okay, so just just making sure. So yeah, you you have a second passenger in there, but that base is incredible. And then I want to say, as I've said, the third party tiers out there are doing some very special stuff. And I think we've told you before that the uh, the Heimdall from Ragnarok, the fully um, armored version is coming. Uh, we do now also have Ebony Maw, the space wizard is what they're calling him. <laughs> I love and, that, uh, space wizard. Th this looks pretty awesome. Uh, if they end up doing the entire Black Series, not Black Series, the Black, uh, Black Order from Infinity War, I think that'd be an absolute win. It looks incredible. You got some rooted hair. It's a perfect face sculpt. And, you know, pr final product's always going to be different than the, the than uh, these promo pieces. But I feel like with Aliens, it's kind of hard to, you know, mess those up, especially uh, with something as ugly as this. So the uglier the sculpt, the more lifelike it's probably going to look. So uh, it's supposed to be shipping at end of this year. So as I've said, if I can get this stateside, I'm all in. I mean, look at that. Perfect lighting. Looks definitely like Tales from the Crypt. Uh, very cool. So, totally I think it does. Awesome. Yeah, it, look, it would look awesome with Doctor Strange, with Thanos, whatever it may be. That that's a hell of a figure. Yeah, it looks great, man. Yeah, hopefully you can I, find I this fake guy, dude. You'd pull the trigger on that all day, right? Absolutely. I kind of wish they would have gone with sculpted hair. Um, granted, it's just kind of like a little mullet, but I'm just not a big fan of the rooted hair. I, I think the sculpted hair would have looked a little bit better, but uh, that's just me on that. So that's that for... We got you. What's that? Hello? Can we hear you? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Are you back, Dave? Hello? All right. Having some technical difficulties here. Bear with us, folks. I think we lost Dave, but we'll continue on. Can anybody see or hear me? I think it's recording. Give me a thumbs up or something. And Trainwreck, you are a troll saying that Arwen doesn't look right. <laughs> Reading some of the comments here. Yep, we see you. Okay, so I'm still here. So Dave left. But uh, I guess we will see. Kevin, you are good. Okay, so it might be on Dave's end. Well, there he is. And so, can you hear me? Now you're on mute. You might want to unmute yourself. Oh, my God. What Thanks. a shit show. Okay. Hey, we're back. Yes, but uh, I was talking with our studio audience, and uh, we were just having a good time with it. So, uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> yep. Uh, Dave is a moron. Yeah, one-man show. Did you trip over your uh, own cord? I, I fucking don't know, man. I was trying to get my kids fucking out of this goddamn room, but uh, I, I must I must have hit something. All right, so uh, that that's uh, that's it for the the tipping the scales, right? 
Yes, we knocked it out uh, with the technical difficulties. Thank you for hanging in there with us, everybody. But we are back on it, and we are transitioning to G.I. Joe. Okay, yep. So, uh, Joe, we'll kind of cruise through this. We did have a few things I wanted to kind of go over. I've, we, we're, we're very uh, statue-based on this episode, which is totally yeah. awesome. I mean, th this thing is sweet, man. So, this is a G.I. Joe Legends in 3D uh, so this is by Gentle Giant, now the Diamond Select. This is a half-scale limited edition bust of Storm Shadow. And this thing just looks so sick. I mean, these are the, I, I just really like the like busts in general. Yeah. Um, I would want, you know, I'm, I'm more of a life-size guy with the, with the bust. But, you know, you can't go wrong in that price point. 180 bucks, no, you know, it's a... It, it would almost be a disservice to not have this, um, you know, in a spot in your room where you can kind of move it around. Cause I, I love all the kind of paint on the back of it. Um, it's, it's yeah. sick, man. Does this do anything for you? It, it does. Um, I'm a huge storm shadow snake eyes. I love that, you know, combination. Um, but I don't have anything Joe right now. So there's yeah. no to add it, but I mean, damn, if it doesn't look good and look at that, you're saving 10% if you pre-order today. <laughs> yeah and um i mean this this would be one of those things you know like you know you know there's going to be a snake eye one i mean that they, they would look pretty good you know on 2d on the top of 2d tops you know so uh very cool i wanted to talk about that and then uh last thing on the joes um a new company got the gi joe license and i wanted to kind of go over that real quick uh this company is uh, icon heroes they do a lot of stuff with pins they're kind of like uh they're kind of like fig pin in a sense um they add a little bit more to their packaging but uh basically fig pins aren't they um no i feel like that's that's probably the same scale because like if you're looking at the the picture of that guy's hand right well like here's a fig pin okay. you know, that's in my hand you know so i i think they really are like tit for tat for um compared to to fig pin but i love how it, it comes with the file cards yeah that's you know I, di I just like packaging a lot so i think this, this is pretty nice so it's got you know storm shadow uh snake eyes and snake eyes comes with timber so i thought that was pretty cool uh you can get that now break uh breaking bad <laughs> um <laughs> on, on 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 sideshow <clears throat> i thought this is big bad but uh yeah on sideshow <laughs> looks like it'll release at the end of the year but yeah very cool. Other than that, I mean, classified, you know, people are still out there finding uh, major bloods. I, I don't think that they're like restocking, not nearly as much as this Clone Wars wave has. So, uh, you know, good luck on that. And then uh, Yojo June is right around the corner. I mean, that we're going to get some big news next month. Um, I don't know if they're going to be, you know, kind of revealing stuff every week or how that's going to look, but expect a lot of big stuff coming next month from the joe team so that's uh that's it on the joes and then uh let's get into some tube talk man so oh, let's yes. talk about that eternals trailer where to begin with that um i you know i love to shit on everything and i'm definitely oh my gosh. Shit on this too. Uh, it's good i don't think know you got I, that bidet absolutely i'm gonna have to clean my ass <laughs> after this but I, I don't know if i've been more unin enthused for a movie than this um there's a youtube channel i follow called the critical drinker i don't know if you've ever uh checked that out just a the scottish no. guy that sounds like he's drunk and just like gives like commentary on you know trailers and movies he's fantastic but i mean he sums it up perfectly that i think that this is possibly going to run off the rails and could be marvel's first genuine flop is what they talk about i'm not invested in any of these characters and here's where I come out on this is that, is that well, you think about, you know, Iron Man was a, a B, a B C character from way back when, you know, no one cared right. about black Panther things like that, but they had their own standalone movies to build that. They have 10 characters minimum that they're going to kind of shove down our throats in one movie. Right. And the last time a studio tried to do something like that, justice league, ever heard of it. And it, it did not work out well. And I'm very skeptical to see where this goes. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat as that. I, I really am trying to have, you know, I'm optimistic take on this film. But yeah, this, I mean, even the, 
the trailer i was very you know non not interested in it i mean even the spaceship looks boring as fuck it was just like a square <laughs> you know yeah, like rectangle I mean, spaceship. Like, it's beautiful isn't it i'm like is it so i mean yeah. sure are they gonna be able to pull a rabbit out of their hat maybe but you have a bunch of i i feel like your your cast is too big and th- watching the trailers i know they try to keep things close to the vest there's no explanation of what's happening in this movie or why I need to go see it. A trailer should get you hyped to say, okay, I got to go see what the story they're trying to tell. Right. They just need some big scenes and a lot of people standing around. That's it. I, I think the saving grace with this film is going to come all down to the writing. I mean, the cast is there. The cast is they're They're, they're all well, you know, but this isn't oceans 11, you know, you can't put an all-star cast together and have it unless you said like, if the writing is the, not there, the writing, the, yeah, the writing's got to be there. So this, to me, this comes all down to the writing that the cast is there. They're talented. All, every one of them is super talented. So it all comes down to the writing. Like for me, I want to know why, like almost like the, uh, uh, Martian, the manhunter type moment, like, well, where the fuck y'all been when like end game was going on and like all these other huge world, you know, like, uh, danger kind of ending you know events were happening where were you guys like yeah well you know i think they even said it in one of the uh the quotes it was like oh we've never intervened in all these years like, and it's yeah, like, okay well yeah you had a thanos event and you didn't want to intervene on that i i mean yeah. what's the point then so, so it, now it, you're coming to, to, to the rescue so it's kind of strange yep the the writing really has to help kind of answer that stuff um otherwise yeah i i think this will flop i mean even that one like kind of attempt at the comedy when it's like oh i could i could you know who's gonna lead the avengers with cap and iron man gone and he was like oh i'll do it you know and everyone started laughing at him i was like oh man that was kind of cringy you know so i I, you know i'll go into it i i'll of course i'll go there opening weekend and support the film and be excited to see it. But yeah, I'm not expecting, you know, end game type, uh, hype out of this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, w- I'll reserve judgment till I can actually see it, but they're not off to a ground to a great start. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I mean, we've talked about this, you know, the Ewok show, we're getting all these kind of legacy star Wars stuff. Well, is this a matter of time? We got an official announcement. Uh, the, uh, um, droids uh, cartoon series is going to be coming to Disney Plus. No date on US yet, but um, our folks and friends over in the UK looks like they're getting a, a June release. So I would imagine, you know, the the US one will be right around the corner. But you know, hashtag VPN gang. I mean, there you go. You know, you can if, if you're dying, you, you've you've been waiting for 28 years or whatever to watch the droid show you know you can get your vpn out and go watch it via uk but uh um yeah i'll 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 have the kids watch that and while it's on i'll i'll watch it too that's kind of how i've been doing the the ewoks i'm not i'm not watching ewoks by myself the cartoon but you know if the kids have it on i'll watch it sure and as i said Um, we still have to uh you know burn a fat one and watch caravan of courage together Caravan of Courage, yeah, and then uh, ba- what, what's the other one? Uh, Battle Vendor or something like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll watch so, them yeah. both. Um, yeah, I think when, when we finally get together for like one of those conferences, that's definitely going down. Yeah. All right. So, uh, um, the that Modoc Hulu series dropped. I have not heard anything about it other than one person on Instagram that um I follow. We're we're kind of you know we're 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 chummy and all that and um. I feel like he's got a good pulse of what I'm also into. He's kind of into, and he says it's hilarious. And he, he even mentioned, he's like, why is nobody talking about this? So I'm going to give that a go this weekend. Um, it looks like a very fun, almost family guy type, you know, with little, little Modoc, you know, so yeah. it's a, it's a fun concept. Um, have you heard any kind of reviews or anything like that about this, this series? I, I have not. I, I didn't know it even dropped until you told me it had dropped. I knew it was yeah. coming and I know, you know, the different voiceovers, things like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't know it, but I'm willing to, you know, sit down and check it out because if it's anything like family guy, robot chicken, something along those lines, I mean, it's, it's gotta be worthwhile. If you go into it, you know, thinking it's going to be lighthearted, then yeah, why not? Yep. 
All right. Well, let's uh, let's jump into Marvel, man. We get, we got some uh, some reveals. We did, and if you remember last week, we had our top three of things that we wanted to see brought to the Infinity Saga line. And interestingly enough, you know, they did a lot of the heavy lifting for us, but two other pieces that they dropped this week, none of us brought up, which I thought was interesting. And this is a beautiful one, that being Obadiah and Iron Man Monger. Look at this one. Who does not want a Jeff Bridges figure? Let's just start <laughs> off that way. Um, ever since the first Iron Man came out, I always thought that was an incredible villain. I loved Obadiah Stane. I thought he was the perfect, you know, foil to Tony. Um, and to start off the MCU, I thought it was great. And then, you know, the Iron Monger shows up at the end, you know, to fight Iron Man. Um, it, it was cool. It was a very cool one. The only thing about this that people aren't liking is that the price is a little bit high for a two pack. I think it's showing that it's yeah. $80. Um, that's a little steep. Um, but some people I think are buying just the iron monger themselves, uh, for 50 bucks. I think Dorkside has it for 50 bucks to where you can buy it by itself. Um, but it's a sick set, man. If I was still into legends, this is one I would definitely want, uh, just because that's a massive figure with iron monger and that bald Jeff Bridges is just badass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so that one's cool. While wow, that's a home run. They did have a reveal that was not, and that being Infinity War Captain America. If you remember the original Infinity War cap that came out with that head sculpt of the dude that we're not even 100% sure who that even is, um, people said, who is this? It's not Chris Evans. It's not Steve Rogers. It's not anybody. So that was the first one. So we get this one. This is the new version. We get that snarling face sculpt. You get the other normal one in that nice little ad there. Uh, but this one's a little bit off too. The head Yikes. sculpt is better, but I still don't think that's great. And then the costume is way too bright. What most people are going to end up doing is essentially taking those heads and gloves and putting that on the old body. If you do that, I think it's going to look like a good figure, but I don't know why they made the suit so bright. I hope in the final products it will not look like that, but that's a swing and a miss if you ask me. Yeah, it is, man. Um, yeah, it's uh, you know, just looking at his face, it it definitely is. And I didn't even think this is really like, you know, if you had asked me, hey, like come up with like ten figures for the Infinity Saga, this wouldn't even be on my list. Like, I didn't think this one was really needed. Did, do you? Do you you feel that way? No, especially because there already is one, and I know yeah. this. There's so people that have gotten a custom head. If you really did not like that head sculpt, most people already have a custom head that they want right. to put on it. Um, and you can get those relatively cheap. So this, this is a, this is a weird one to me. So, um, and even the shields, I don't think are quite right. I think one's open, one's closed, as you can see there. Uh, very, very interesting. And like Mighty Mouse said, $50 for build a figure, 20 figure, for the uh, Iron Monger, yeah. So I think that's good, but this one is a miss. <clears throat> I'm, I'm back to that two pack. I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, when that 10 year anniversary of the um, uh, Avengers, uh, um, geez, I'm drawing blanks. The Hulk Buster and uh, Hulk the Buster. the, the Hulk. Was that fifty dollars? Because if that was only fifty dollars, you know, like looking back at that, like that was a I think it was good 60, deal. Yeah, I think it was fifty nine ninety nine. Okay. Target, and then I got a twenty five percent off coupon or something when I got mine. But I remember getting mine at Target. I thought it was fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, so I mean, this is just probably a little bit of a, a more of an increase. I, I I love that the Legends team is experimenting more with uh, you know like effects. Like you know, yeah, I, I'm not going to yeah, pull it back up, but so needed. Yeah, that's been so needed. Those those because the only effects we ever got were the Iron Man blast. That's it. Uh, yeah. But I love the. I think there's a few where they have like bullet, bullet, uh, bullet marks, things like that, smoking yep. pieces, and the smoke. That's very cool. I think it started with that Black Widow figure with all those accessories, and it's been building from there. Yep, and I mean even the the uh, Obadiah holding Tony's um, uh, oh, reactor, reactor. Yeah, right. you know that that that's a cool little touch too. Um, but yeah, man, I mean the Iron Monger definitely needed a. A, a redo um, from that. I don't think the the original one was a bath. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was, right? Yeah, the original one was a bath. And yeah, this one is going to just be more in scale for sure. Yeah, so that looks good. And then flipping over to the sixth scale, we had a release that 
why are we getting Rex delayed? We have a we have a release that's coming seven months after it was announced, which is unheard of. Which granted, you know, just kind of reskinned it. But anti ox suit from the Spider Verse wave, and uh, this one might be calling to me, Dave. You know that you and I have kind of jumped on our, our Spider Man world, um, and I've gotten quite a few more from mm. the game. But this black and yellow really, really pops. But it's the base on this one, if you get the deluxe, where you get the Doc Ock tentacles. Look at those oh, things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are sick. Sick. Um, and it's got the nice little UV thing, so you can, it can glow. But um, if you go, I think getting the tentacles is definitely the way to go. If you're going to be getting this suit, you know, pay the extra 30 bucks and get that. Right. Um, that is going to hopefully be shipping from Sideshow soon. Um, when it shows up at Replay Toys... Like I said, when I see it in person, I may cop that one. Um, or you never know. There may be a good deal uh, from a Hong Kong reseller. You, you, you never know with me. You never know with me. Yeah. Um, but they they also said that potentially we could be getting in-game Thor eventually coming out. Um, but they also said Rex was imminent as well. So who really sure. knows at this point? Um, so that's about all I got for some six-scale stuff. Uh, good releases, good reveals. Um, I guess we'll see, my man. This uh yeah this anti oc man it it it's growing on me for sure um I, I, love I definitely the yellow. That neon yellow is so cool yeah I don't I don't get mustard vibes uh, you know right. this on, on, on this one at all yeah and I think this would look could uh, look good next to the miles one just with that dynamic base because that miles one I mean that that that's got to be that that's that's what sold me on that miles one that miles 2099 yeah. was the base with the computer yeah. monitors and shit looks so cool um this is close uh, to, to it man it. yeah dude we'll we'll have to open uh open up those together um that'll be a live unboxing can't wait yeah yeah this looks good yeah this uh this might be something i i i look at you know after i uh i crush some natter days and uh feeling froggy and want to buy something um this might do it i just don't have any connection to the game um and i'm assuming that that's where this suits from right it is for those that you know played the game this is when spoiler alert doc ock ends up being the bad guy he uh was yeah. you know P peter's uh peter mentor and then you know he finds out about his tentacles and he makes this suit to combat him so this is the final suit of the game yeah okay oh so this is like the the, the, it's the final one. It's the final suit in the game. I'm sure they'll make the more because there was like 50 suits in the game. DLC, but this yeah. is the final one to unlock or actually Got be it. able to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, that's it for Marvel. So uh, we'll, we're we're winding down here. If you guys got any questions for us, uh, throw them into the chat. And we'll get to that on the next segment. Um, we'll run over the kind of Dave's leftovers here real quick. So got a, a few things. So Prime uh, Studio did a showcase over the weekend. And the most exciting thing, it's definitely worth it. If you're a statue uh, person, go check out their YouTube. They did a, um, a stream over the weekend. They don't really have a whole lot of you know, posts and blogs out of what they went over. So it's just really on a, a YouTube video, but it's, there's some really exciting stuff. There's some Lord of the Rings stuff there for you too, Kevin. But um, the one thing that I wanted to go over, and again, they don't have, they don't have much on their site or anyone else, but they, they went over this on their actual, uh, you know, stream event and we're getting a predator, jungle hunter og predator as og as it gets this is going to be your um one uh one three scale and this thing is uh this is the definitive predator there's there's so many predator stuff out there for statues um there was the berserker one that was really cool that they did um i mean if i'm ever going to get a predator statue this would be it it would be a jungle predator i mean this thing's uh pretty awesome so uh the pre-order window starts next month in june sometime um so stay tuned if you if you're a predator person you know uh for their kind of official you know um sale on that i'm sure it's going to be you know a small run too these things sell out pretty quick 
but uh yeah i definitely wanted to mention that and um uh next on the list we got let me get it on the board here oh yeah this is we, we hardly ever get to talk about this uh masters of the universe so um, we, we don't hate Ma them too. We, we can do that yeah we don't man um I don't know why we just don't cover it that much. We don't have like a resident Motu Motu guy, but uh, yeah, Mondo. Uh, yeah, so they do these. Uh, this could have been on your tipping the scales. Um, so we we're getting a, a six scale um, Hordak, and dude, this thing. I saw someone like holding it like at Mondo, and it's it's. I mean, it's a six scale. It's fucking massive. This thing is amazing, dude. I mean, look at some of these pictures, dude. And um, they they've done Mondo's done. Uh, I think they've done a merman. They've done a man at arms. Yeah, um, I've seen those. Our are uh, sponsored by the to totally rad toy house. Um, they carry some of these, and I've seen yeah. uh, their merman they have there. Yeah, this just looks absolutely great. Um, yeah, like like Hot Toys doesn't even need to do this if if Mondo's just going to keep, you know. Yeah doing these so and it looks like fairly uh, decent quality as well yeah it looks really good i mean that's pretty expensive for for something like that that's uh you know still basically just an action figure you mean look mm -hmm. at the joints and stuff like that you know what i mean so 230 bucks you can get your uh your hordak um yeah get your hordak looks, like, looks like it's coming uh in in august too so pretty quick uh turnaround from you know getting your pre-order into when it shows up so exciting stuff i know there's a lot of motu guys that uh listen and watch our show so shout out motu fam finally got to we'll cover to something for you guys <laughs> yep all right and then a uh, last on the grab bag uh so have i ever told you that i i fuck with these kind of little l l i have like a spooky village on a Halloween oh, yeah, by uh, yeah. So so Lee Max and Department Fifty Six are like the only two um, companies that I fuck with with these little spooky village. So Halloween, August first turns around, or sorry, September first turns around. I I redecorate our kind of family room, and I and every year I buy a few of these pieces, you know, from Michaels or whatnot of uh you know a spooky village. So it'll be like a you know a a bar, a, a ghoul bar or a tattoo shop that's like all skeletoned out and stuff like that. So anyways they they just kind of department 56 just revealed these. Uh we're getting a Ghostbusters firehouse. Ooh. This thing is so sweet man. I mean the price point on these are yikes i mean 160 bucks but i mean this is you know it's kind of like an heirloom piece i mean this is something that you know i'll be passing down to the kids it's but kind uh, of like the christmas villages that you build right that's exactly what it is yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah. They, they they just make spooky village stuff is what yeah, what you know, the actual yeah so um there you go so you got the department you know 56 the um fire station from ghostbusters it also has ecto one which is very cool and that was 60 dollars alone just for the little car which i thought it was yeah. like insane but you know i i knew they were going to be a little more expensive just because of uh them being a premium but having to share a license with ghostbusters or, or something like that um and then the last one i wanted to show so this is my favorite ride at disneyland and this is the haunted mansion and you know this one's a little i mean it, it would be cool just to have because i am such a fan of the haunted mansion ride at disneyland um but it's it's you know doesn't really like scream spooky village like the other ones you know right. the other ones are like <laughs> obvious is, right? yeah. yeah um you know almost three hundred dollars <laughs> yeah like that's a hot toy you know that's what i'm saying what does it come with a real ghost inside you know, and, and it's not even like that much bigger than, you know, some like the other one. I mean, it's in scale with, uh, you know, the whole like spooky yeah, village. But yeah. yeah, I wanted I wanted to show those off. But uh, yeah, I, I I don't think I'll be getting the Haunted Mansion one, but I'm probably going to pull the trigger on the uh, on the, the Ghostbuster one. I think that'd be I, I fun to have in there. Are you going to go and get the Ecto one, though? Um, I feel like, I yeah, I, I got to get the set. Right. You're not just going to have it ever 
car, right? Yeah, that's mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's it for the grab bag, man. Um so I think yeah, we can wrap it up, dude. Episode 44 in the books, dude. That was a good one, man. Hell yeah. We got to make sure to answer his uh, train wreck question, though. He asked, what was the favorite horror movie outside of The Ring, Dave? Oh, man. Outside. Oh, outside I can't even read. Outside of uh, Thing, my favorite horror movie. Um, franchise as a whole. So train wreck already knows the answer to this, but um, Michael Myers is 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 who i gravitate when it comes to you know my favorite boogeyman you know yeah i'm i'm a fan of you know freddy and um jason but uh michael myers does it for me so probably probably just the og halloween um yeah man uh he's gonna kill me but uh cabin of the woods <laughs> that's that's just an inside joke but uh yeah no i'd, I'd probably ha halloween would definitely be probably after the thing it'd be it'd be halloween for sure how about you man kevin so this is my wife and i's favorite we are obsessed with it we watch it so many times and we always pick up something new it freaked the fuck out of us when we saw it it's a relatively newish one and that is hereditary we love oh, yeah that. Because it's a movie where you don't realize what's happening until like the last 15 minutes yeah. finally hits you. You're like, holy fuck. And you're, it, it's incredible. Dude, that director. Yeah. Ari, Ari Laster or something like that. Um, Midsommar. Uh, have you seen that? I did. Did not like that like I did Hereditary. but Oh, still. my God. I See, I, I'm the opposite. I, I, I dug Midsommar so much. I mean, that that movie was so uncomfortable to watch. And just the fact that it's like all in like daylight, which is like. Yeah. For those that are wondering when the old people jump off and then they have to bash his head with a mallet. I'm like, what the hell? It's yeah, it's it's good stuff, man. I just like, you know, fresh new stuff instead of just yeah. doing like, dude, don't get me wrong. I'm OK with the good reboot. You know yeah. what I mean? But like I, I didn't need that fucking whatever that Chucky reboot was. Like I didn't need that. You know that that wasn't Ghostbusters with Melissa McCarthy. That was a solid one. Oh my god, easy. Um, but uh, yeah, man. All right, well let's uh let's let's get out of here, dude. That's that's a good one, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for chatting yeah, and man, uh, great episode, y'all. All of our listeners and everyone joining in on the stream tonight. Thank you, guys. This is uh this is good shit, dude. And as always, we'll keep the peg warm for you, and we will see you next week, everybody. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next week. Peace.